Good morning, Raw Stars. It is time for a Monday morning motivation. How do you start your week? With me. You guys see all this sweat? You see all this sweat? I'm sweating to impress. We just rocked the house, okay? For the boxing butt and bicep workout. Okay, and then Tiffany Roth Workouts YouTube channel. So, you guys, we start off our Mondays right. We start off with a workout at 9 a.m. on YouTube, and then we get motivated for the week, right? So, I want to tell you guys something. Listen, summer is coming. I have a few announcements to make. I have a few announcements to make. We are getting ready for the sexy. Can you say sexy? Say sexy. Summer. Body. 30 day challenge, right? Men, you're welcome too. We want you guys to be sexy. We don't want you guys just sitting back watching us, okay? You get to be sexy too. So listen, how do you do it? You go to www.trfc.club slash challenges and sign up. It starts next Monday. So sign up today for the sexy summer body challenge we are going to work out daily we're going to eat healthy we're going to have a whole little group page where you guys have accountability partners me motivating you one hour workouts that's right one hour workouts because guess what summer is here baby it is not on the horizon it is here it's right now check it out boom trees trees are blooming things are happening are you guys ready for it are you ready for summer okay so listen i know it's been a long year so it's been cold outside, but you don't want to have that feeling, right? When you put your clothes on and it's like, ooh, ooh. And then it's hot outside and the clothes don't fit and you feel depressed and you just want to stay in the house, right? Okay, that doesn't get to happen. We get to go out and enjoy ourselves this summer. So sign up for the challenge. It starts Monday. We are ready. So for today's motivation, I want to talk to you guys about something. When I very, very, very first started teaching, okay? I started teaching, I don't know if you guys know of a place called Holiday Spa. It's like before Bally's. That's when I first started teaching. And I will never forget the most important lesson that I learned. This lesson, change my life right and if you guys have been with me for any period of time you're going to know what it means okay this is how i live my life and i want to share it with you guys i want to share it are you listening are you listening a lot of times we think in life that once we get to a point oh we're there right so it happens in everything in your life whether it's um with your relationships, right? With your relationships. You fall in love, you get married, and you think, oh, it's going to just stay, stay the same. You get a job, you're so excited, you work for the job, you think it's going to stay the same. You get in shape, you work hard, you eat hard, you think it's going to stay the same, right? If you, whatever it is that you think is going to stay the same, you are sadly mistaken. Because listen up, listen very carefully. There is no such thing as staying the same. What? What, Tiffany, what? You know, because a lot of times people want to get in shape and they're like, ta-da, I'm in shape, I'm in shape. Let me go back to my old habits. I don't think so, right? There is no such thing as staying the same. So there is no destination in life. The destination is a pine box, baby. The destination is six feet under. Until then, you get to play by this rule, right? Play by this rule. Listen up. If you guys are hearing me, I want you to open your eyes, open your ears, and say there is no such thing as staying the same because we are energy, right? And energy is constantly in motion. And how do you want to be moving? Do you want to be moving forward or do you want to be moving backward? Right, but you're gonna be moving somewhere. So whatever goal that you have, wherever you're trying to get into your life, just know that you get to create that every single day with your thoughts, your words, your actions, and emotions. So you can use your thoughts, words, actions, and emotions to focus on what you've already done, okay? Or I can use it to focus on what you are creating, right? So there is no such thing as staying the same. Are you guys feeling me? Now here comes the second part. This is, there we go, Shereen. I want you guys to hear me. Hear me what I'm saying. When I heard this, and this was 30 years ago when I heard this, I lived my life by this. I lived my life by this. I'm giving you guys Everything, I'm telling you guys everything that I know to help you grow into the best version of yourself every single day. The second part of it, the second part of it is so dope. It's so bomb. If you guys have been following you, maybe you already know what it is. Listen, there is no such thing as staying the same. That's part one. Now here comes the sinker. Here comes the truth, right? Listen, listen carefully. 
You are either, you are either striving. Do you understand the word strive? Striving. So striving is to be alive and put energy into. You are either striving to make yourself better or allowing yourself to get worse. What? I want to make sure that you heard that. I want to make sure that you heard that. You are either striving, that's that you stretch forward and thrive. You are either striving to make yourself better or allowing yourself to get worse. What? What does that mean? Okay, that you have two choices, right? Saying the same is not one of them. You have two choices. You can decide to strive to make yourself better. Choice number one, you can decide to make yourself better. How do you do that? With your thoughts, with your words, with your actions, with your emotions. Okay, we get a choice. What are you gonna think about today? Okay, are you gonna think about everything that's going wrong or everything that you're gonna make go right? Okay, choice, okay? What are you speaking about? Pay attention to your language. Pay attention to your language. Are you encouraging yourself? Are you encouraging others? Are you speaking life into yourself? Or are you pulling yourself down, right? That's the other thing, your words, okay? Your actions, what are you doing? Are you sitting on the couch watching me work out, okay? Hey, that's for me. Right? Or are you getting up there and actually doing it? Are you putting some committed action be behind your thoughts and your words? Next thing is emotion, right? Ooh, let me tell you, most of us are emotionally immature, right? Because we never, like there's no college of emotions, right? There's no emotional intelligence book. You gotta live it and you gotta strive, okay? You gotta strive to mature your emotions. So your emotions are your feelings. Do you get butt hurt when things don't work out? Do you get sad when you fail? Do you make something up about yourself? Or do you just use every failure as an opportunity to be better the next time, to strive forward, right? Do you use your emotions to propel you forward or to pull you back? Listen to what I just said. Do you use your emotions to propel you forward or to pull you back? One more time. Do you let your emotions, your feelings, your feelings, if you get sad about something, if it doesn't work out, what kind of stories do you make up? What do you make up about yourself if it doesn't work out? If it doesn't work out, you say, damn, okay, that was a good lesson. How do I do it better next time, right? Or you say, oh my God, this is so painful. I never want to experience that again. Oh no, not me. If you do that, woo, you're letting those emotions pull you back. So then you're going into allowing yourself, you hear me? Allowing yourself to get worse. You don't stay the same. So if you're sad and in the bed, you're allowing yourself to get worse, right? So whatever it is, if you need, if you are not feeling good about yourself, get up. Get up, get up and make something happen. So listen, I want you guys to repeat after me. I want you to write it down somewhere. There is no such thing as staying the same. You are either striving, striving to make yourself better or allowing yourself to get worse because you are always at choice, you guys. You are always at choice. Okay, you can choose what you think. Nobody owns your thoughts, you guys. You can choose what you say. Nobody owns your words. You can choose what you do. You are free. You can choose what you feel. Those are yours. You can choose to be better every day. You can choose to strive to be the best version of yourself. And that I do that. I do that in every aspect of my life. If you go on the TRFC, you will find thousands of workouts, thousands and there will be no two workouts the same. Yes, right, because you know what? That's how I live. That's how I live. There will be no two workouts the same, because guess what? It's not scripted, okay? Every movement that I do is a movement from above, right? Every word that I say is a word from above because above is inside of me, you guys. I am creativity. I am creativity. You are creativity, right? You get to create every single day. You get to create your life. Oh my God, it's so powerful. How do you do it, you guys? Live in your vision. What is your vision? So like if you're sitting down, if you're sitting down to a blank piece of paper, what does your life look like? What color is it, right? What do you wanna what do you wanna see for your life? That's vision. That's seeing things before they actually come. That's striving towards something, right? If you get up and you go to your daily habit every single day, eh, 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 and you go to the same job every single day, eh, 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 and you do all this stuff, then how do you expect to get 
better. Insanity is doing the same thing every day and expecting to get a different result. What? What? Insanity is doing the same thing every day and expecting to get a different result. So listen, my life's work, my life's work, okay, is to help the world be a better place. How do you do that? Because if each one teaches one, each one teach one. So you guys, I hold you accountable to bring somebody into this challenge with me. Bring somebody into the TRFC Sexy Summer Body Challenge because you teach somebody to strive to get better. Teach your circle to strive to get better. Bring them into your fold. My goal is to make the world a better place one workout at a time because every time that you work out, you get better. Every time that you work out, you get better. Every time that you work out, you get better. Oh my God, it is that simple. Isn't that simple? Yes, it is. But guess what? You can't do the same workout every day, right? Because that's insanity, right? So roll with me, you guys, roll with me. So we do different workouts all the time. We mix it up so that you are always striving to make yourself better, not allowing yourself to get work. So get up, get motivated, sign up for the challenge. Sign up for the challenge because we'll be doing a different workout every day. Hey, we'll be doing a different workout every day to keep your mind woke, your body woke, your spirit woke, and you guys in alignment with creating the life that you want. Do you want to have a great life? You create it. You create it right now. The decisions that you make right now create your tomorrows. By saying yes to being your best right now, you're better tomorrow. It's not about procrastination. Procrastination can wait, right? Procrastination can wait. Write that down. Procrastination can wait. You make procrastination wait and wait and wait and wait, and you get into committed action, right? You get into committed action and create the life that you want. Yes! Okay, so you guys, I am pumped up. I'm excited, right? So I want you to go and sign up. Go to W. T-R-F-C, the Tiffany Roth Fit Club. And after that, dot club, because we are a club, we are a community, right? Your community makes a difference. That's why I'm coming up here. I want you guys all to be in the community. Bring your friends in, bring your family in. Bring some of the men in. I don't want to leave them behind. Come on, baby, I know I'm wearing pink, right? I know I'm wearing pink, and I got pink waist. But let me tell you, the workouts work for men and women. So make this challenge for the Sexy Summer Body together, right? Let's get the men in here. Let's be sexy with them, too. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I love you so much. Right now, we have a free challenge going up. So if you stayed, and you got to see this, when you go into the... Um, to the uh, trc.club and you go to the topics there is a free um soothing six day stretch challenge that we're doing so that means that you are stretching your muscles we're stretching we're doing yoga we're relaxing getting ready to be bomb next week so hope that you signed up for that challenge as well sexy i mean the six day soothing stress challenge i love you guys oh my god one more thing mother's day coming up mother's day we have spa day we have spa day so pay attention we have spa day that we're going to be giving away lots of gifts because it's mother's day lots of gifts on this spa day this saturday okay love you guys